Uh, the kingdom of God, uh, what it means to me, to put it simply, is it's home, I would say. Um, my identity before, before I'm a black male, uh, before I identify with any um, culture or creed in society, I identify with uh, who the word says I am in Christ. So for me, the kingdom of God is, is simply where I come from. Um, but it's, it's important to remember, uh, just as Jesus said in um, uh, John 18, uh, the kingdom of God is not of this world. Um, so I don't think that we'll fully be able to grasp um, in, its, in its full context what that really means until Jesus returns and makes the kingdom of the world his, as discussed in Revelation 11, right? Um, but with that, there are attributes of the kingdom of God that we can see here on earth, and, and that's what we show through us as believers. Um, I think uh, in Matthew 6, uh, Jesus instructs us, he says, uh, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Uh, basically what that's saying is um, we have to put the things of God first, and we should seek to be rightly aligned with his will. Well, we have to read his word in order to know what his will is, right? Um, and, you know, it's with that, Galatians uh, kind of gives us an idea. Galatians 5, starting at verse 16, gives us an idea as to how that works. Um, but first, before explaining uh, what his righteousness would be, the Apostle Paul warns us against uh, fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Um, and he also warns that anyone who practices such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But he goes on to encourage us to um, operate in the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, uh, gentleness. Can I start over? <laughs> okay. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Um, those are the attributes of the kingdom of God. Um, and that's what people can see uh, here on the earth through us. Um, so what it really comes down to is our behavior, I would say. Our behavior is what shows whether or not we're of the kingdom of the world or are we of the kingdom of God. Um, you have the works of the flesh, uh, the fruit of the spirit. It, it's, it's no in between. It's, it's either one or the other. Um, and when you start to talk about behavior, that's where things start to get kind of iffy um, with even a lot of Christians, I would say. Uh, one of the things that I would hear growing up is that, you know, it's not about religion, it's about relationship. Um, I would hear that in my early teens, and then that's kind of been upgraded to um, no rules, no religion, um, which is basically saying that, you know, it, for the most part, I can do mostly what I want, but I still serve God as long as I'm doing it unto the Lord. Well, there's a problem when, if, if you proclaim to be part of the kingdom of God, um, but yet you don't look any different than those in the world, that kind of becomes an issue. Um, but James 1.27 says that a pure and undefiled religion before the Father is um, visiting uh, widows and the fatherless in their trouble and remaining unspotted from the world. Uh, that's the key uh, to, to basically being a citizen of the kingdom uh, here in a strange land.